All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm sitting here today with Kevin. This is the Pure Flow Air Dog product engineer. Mr. Giner is ready for your interview. Actually, we'll be interviewing as a team. We're here to talk about Diesel RX regulators. Today, we're going to talk about a Diesel RX part that's pretty cool. I think it's kind of slept on a little bit. Yeah, um, not not a lot of advertising on it. Um, basically, our diaphragm fuel pressure regulator. So this is a diesel RX part that we actually manufacture here in house. And um, I mean, what are I mean mainly why is someone going to want something like this? How is it going to benefit them? So basically, it's for people who say have like an Air Dog One um, with our ball and spring regulator. It's not adjustable. This can go on the back side of that uh, that regulator. Um, and it's adjustable from 7 to 70 psi uh, or somebody who say has a flow through brushless pump you can put this on the back side of that and like I said it's uh, 7 to 70 psi and um, or people who want to do like a say a regulated return on a, on a 12 valve or a, a 60 or a 73 um, we don't necessarily have a kit with all the lines but if you wanted to piece something together for it uh, this is a good option I mean it has all half inch ports um, o-ring boss it's it's anodized aluminum it's going to be corrosion resistant and you have a handy uh, uh, fuel pressure gauge port in it as well so you can monitor your fuel pressure so I, I want to back up a little bit so you said that if you have an original air dog you can actually use this in conjunction with it because the original air dogs aren't adjustable um, whenever you buy them from us they're they're basically a ball and spring regulator so that pressure is preset so you're telling me that you can install one of these and it will actually um, allow you to adjust the fuel pressure on it Absolutely, you can. Uh, these kits come with a third pipe plug, um, so you can put the third plug in and you put it on the back side of the air dog, and the pressurized fuel goes into this port here. It comes out this port here, and you can adjust that pressure for whatever you need on that air dog one. And I know you said um, like regulated return systems, so like seven threes, six zero power strokes. Yep. Um, a lot of times, um, guys, whenever they start to put larger injectors in those, um, you actually have to do a regulated return. Um, and delete the fuel bowl. So, I mean, this is something you could use if you wanted to, to make your own kit. Um, you could basically put this downstream from the cylinder heads and yep. use it in a regulator return system. Yep, absolutely. It keeps your, your cylinder heads cool uh, because the, the fuel is constantly flowing through there at a regulated pressure. All right, Kevin, you said that this was adjustable from 7 to 70 PSI. How exactly were you able to achieve that? I know with like a lot of competitors and, and different uh, regulators, it's not really an option. Right, so a lot of other regulators you have to, say if you want a low pressure, you have a, a lighter spring, um, and then higher pressure has a, has a you know, a, a stiffer spring, so uh, if you want one or the other, you have to take it apart, add the different spring. So basically how we achieve that 7 to 70 PSI is we have a, a larger, lighter spring that goes around the outside, and we have a stiffer, shorter spring that goes on the inside, so as you're adjusting it down, you're adjusting the light pressures, light pressures, light pressures, until you get into that stiffer spring, and then it starts ramping up to your higher pressures. So you have a fine adjustment down low and a coarse adjustment up high and uh, just makes makes for easy adjustment. You never have to take this thing apart to put different springs in it. You, you put it on your truck, you put a fuel pressure gauge in it, you adjust your pressure and you're good to go. Like I said guys, we make these here in-house, um, assembled 100%. So I mean, how, how exactly, explain to me, how does the diaphragm um, how does that get the diaphragm regulator give you an advantage over, um, say, like a ball and spring style regulator? Okay, well, diaphragm regulator is just more consistent fuel pressure. I mean, you have that diaphragm in there, you have that surface area to help push against the spring set inside the regulator. So, uh, like I said, just more consistent. You're not having a like a pop up valve or, or fuel where it's trying to stop that fuel flow um, with just the ball spring on the back side. You have um, basically to atmosphere on top of here. And what's nice about that too is we have this little 16th MPT port in here. So if you are, say, dropping pressure at uh, wide open throttle, you can put an air regulator on there, run it to this uh, boost compensated port, and actually add boost air back to the regulator. Every pound of boost air in the top of here is a pound of fuel pressure down here. All right, guys, so we're in my shorty now. We're going to show how this setup works. I have an original air dog that has a a diaphragm regulator on the outlet side. So boost is ran from the intake horn to a uh, air pressure regulator adjusted to six PSI. And it's gonna feed that six PSI to the diaphragm regulator, which is gonna add 
on top of what I have set at idle. And as you can see at idle, I'm at 14, which for a VP is perfectly fine. So we'll go ahead and start driving along. back on it give it a little bit more boost and you'll see it go back down as we coast back down to a stop here and when it comes to mounting it I mean it looks like it's pretty simple here we just have a couple holes drilled in it on a nice little 90 degree angle bracket so right which makes for a nice clean installation you can take out any bolt on your frame rail or anywhere and add it to this mounting tab here, mount it wherever you need it, set your regulator on it, have whichever orientation you need it, put your two cap screws in, tighten them down, and you're good to go. And nice thing about this being 90 degrees, it makes for a clean installation, or if you wanted to, if you needed to bend the bracket at all to for your custom fit, you can do that as well. So this is more or less going to benefit those with a Huey style injection system, um, guys running aftermarket, I mean high flow, lift pumps, uh, common rail applications with the uh, you know, gear-driven lift pumps, you know, where electric lift pump just simply can't keep up. Yeah, that, that is another good option. Um, mechanical pumps for your Watermans and all those, you can add this fuel pressure regulator so you can regulate your fuel pressure. All right, Kevin, let's jump behind here on the whiteboard and actually uh, show how to plumb one of these into your fuel system. Absolutely, let's do it. So basically with your diaphragm regulator, depending on what system you have, you can plumb it basically uh, uh, several different ways. So um, let's start with, say, if you have an air dog wand and you want to plumb it in, uh, to adjust your fuel pressure. So let's go ahead and make a, I mean my drawing's not, not not the best. So there's your water separator, there's your fuel filter, there's your pump head. So here's your inlet line coming from your tank. Let's draw a tank down here. And we'll just say it has a sump. So your diaphragm regulator here. So basically you'd have a plug on both sides and you'd have a plug on the back side. So you, one of these lines here obviously goes to your engine and on the return side you go straight to the regulator and then from the regulator you go straight to the return on your tank. So this is adjusting your pressure right here. Instead of this ball and spring in here, you have this diaphragm regulator, which is adjustable from 7 to 70 PSI. Now say if this was a, a flow-through pump, like a, like a brushless style, uh, say like an aeromotive or something. So you have your flow-through pump, you have your inlet from your tank, and obviously you want to do some sort of a water separator or pre-filter on the suction side of the pump so you're separating out water and larger sediments so you don't jam up your pump then uh, so these the return changes so let me go ahead and erase this return so let me just uh, draw a box up here that says engine so now you're you don't have any return on your flow through pump obviously so it goes into the regulator and you no longer have this plug and it goes to your engine now you can plumb your return in one of two ways you can either put it all the way back to the tank or you can plumb it back into the suction line right before the water separator or before the inlet of the pump preferably before the water separator because uh, then you, you can just filter it out twice so so this return could either t back into here or another option is it can just go back to the tank. Um, plumbing it in for say a P-pump on, on a regulated return on a P-pump. So you basically want to splice it into your return line and take out your overflow valve and we'll just draw the regulator here. Plumb your regulator in and basically the same thing as what we talked about earlier on the Air Dog 1. You, you want to have your your three plugs in there. Okay. So it basically is, this is now acting as your overflow valve. This is giving your pressure, but it is adjustable. So 
if you had a, say like a 12 mil or a 13 mil P pump and they're requesting you know X pressure at at idle or whatever you can now adjust your fuel pressure to what they recommend. Some overflow valves don't allow you to have reach the pressures of 70 to 80 psi or whatever they're they're recommending so this is a good option for you guys to add onto um, this setup for that adjustability. Now basically for your 6073 or Huey systems uh, basically your feed lines are running in to one side of the cylinder heads and that's from whatever lift pump you guys choose or you know whatever and so now What's nice about our regulators too is that there's four ports in here that you can put pressurized fuel to. So you can have two lines coming out of your cylinder heads going to the each side of the regulator. And you, you just have two plugs in it this time. You have one on the, the side facing us and then the opposite side. So you have both going in and then you just have one return coming out going back to, again, tank. So you can mount, you can plumb this, mount this however you need in the engine bay, adjustable from 7 to 70 psi. Obviously, obviously on those systems on the higher side because that's what they normally call for. But again, a good custom fuel system. All right, guys. Now you know how to hook up a diesel RX regulator. You know a little bit more about it. So, like I said, if you guys are interested, you can purchase those from any Pure Flow Air Dog diesel RX dealer. Uh, thank you guys a lot for tuning into the video today. Be sure to uh, subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on, and uh, like the video if you enjoyed. Leave a comment, let us know what you think about the product. And uh, yeah, appreciate you guys tuning in, and we will see you guys on the next one. Yep, thank you guys. Boom. <laughs>